Hi guys, Mr. Bamwell here. I have got your English with you, with me. Yes, I have with me this morning. Um, it is Friday, the fifteenth of January. Happy Friday! Um, you made it to your first full week of uh, home learning. Um, doing really, really well. Uh, honestly, I can't I can't stress it enough. Uh, and if I was uh, if you were here to um, hear it, I would tell you as well just how well you are doing. I've been absolutely blown away with all of your work this week. Um, it's just been absolutely fantastic. So keep it going. Uh, that's the hardest part, and that's the bit I will always keep going on at you about because you need to keep it going. All right, it's really, really, really important that we keep working our brains um, so that they grow. All right, so let's, let's do that today um, and give it your all. All right, I'm going to share with you the screen um, and you can write today's date and Walt, here it is. Uh, I want to go to full screen today so you can see everything. There we go. So today's um, date, Friday the 15th of January and our Walt today, we're moving on. So we've done um, lots about um, my story of Babes, Three Little Pigs. We've done um, acting it out, we've done pictorially, we've read it, we've listened to it. Um, so we've got a really good, hopefully, starting to get a really good understanding of the story um, and what it's all about. Um, today, our what is to identify features of a fairy tale in Babes Three Little Pigs. So um, in a fairy tale, a bit like we did um, before, the, before Christmas, we looked at features um, within an adventure story. Today, there are also features of fairy tales. There are lots of fairy tales written out there that have the similar sorts of things that happen within them. And we're gonna to look today and see if we can find some um, commonalities. So things that are, um, that are shared, um, features that are shared within each of these stories um, so that we can um, identify what is, what is a fairy tale. Okay, um, and that will give us hopefully an idea of how then we can start thinking about we, how we can write our own. All right, so um, pause the um, video to write the date and waltz, um, and I will give you a couple of minutes to do that. Okay, great. Um, now, if you have a printer at home, um, you might want to print off the uh, attachment for English today, which is on the PDF. Uh, it, you don't, if you haven't got a printer, that's absolutely fine. I've done two, almost two lessons in one again, uh, where I've done a lesson where if you do have um, a printer, you can print off the story and the key at the bottom, and then we're going to colour in um, the features that we find. Um, if you don't have a printer at home, that's absolutely fine. We're going to draw something in our book uh, and you're going to do something slightly different. So uh, we're going to start on with the lesson and we're going to perhaps go in two different directions later on. All right. Uh, if you're in class, I've already printed off the, um, the sheets for you. So you have got them um, just to color. OK, the, um, the coloring and the key question um, sheet. OK, so that's in front of you, hopefully now. Right, let's make a start. So um, yesterday you that's incorrect. That should say a great story map for babes, three little pigs. Apologies. Um, you did your story maps, um, some brilliant pictures that were sent in to me. I was really, really, really pleased. Um, some were much, much better than mine. And I can see you've spent a long time on them. So well done. Okay. Um, it might be worth now just pausing. Can you go back through and have a look at your story map? And can you retell as much of the story as possible? Pause the video now. Alrighty, let's do a start. Let's do a little warm up. Okay, um, what I'm going to ask you to do in your books, if you're working your books at home, all right, you're going to write um, e, non, and miss. Now, all of these are prefixes. Okay, they go before words and they change the words. All right, what I'm going to ask you to do is we're going to have a table. So um, underneath each of these, we're going to write some words. Over here, look. Let's move you out of the way. Um, over here, we've got lots of different words um, that we are going to put into our table. So um, I want to choose a word. I want you to write it down 
okay? And then before it, we're gonna choose one of these, okay? So for example, let's take the word fiction. Now fiction um, means that it is something that's made up, okay? So um, for example, a fiction book uh, is a story that has been completely made up. If I were to choose one of these, will it be defiction, non-fiction, or misfiction? Pause the video and have a quick chat about that now. If you've already got it, uh, well done. It would be non-fiction, okay? And how does that change the meaning then? So if fiction means, the word fiction means that it's made up, non-fiction means that it's not made up. Okay, so um, all of a sudden, um, a book that is um, that has been made up becomes non-fiction, which means so it's a book that has um, something that is truthful. Okay, something that is fact based on fact. Okay, um, I'm going to give you another one. Um, you could have. Let's have a look. Behave. So if you are um, behaving, okay, it means. You're, um, you know how to behave and you make good choices, okay? Let's just try these. De-behave, have you heard of that before? Non-behave or misbehave, okay? Well done if you went for misbehave. And again, how does that change the meaning of the word? So um, to behave is you're doing something correctly or you're behaving well. Um, if you misbehave, it means, again, it means another word meaning for not. Okay, so you're not behaving, you're misbehaving. Okay, what I want you to do is um, do what I've done, um, do the three titles, D, non, miss, and then see if you can sort these words into each of those columns. Okay, um, I'll let you have a go at that yourself. Um, okay. Okay, so our writing target has not changed. Um, and today, our fairy tale um, writing, we are going to be looking at features. So uh, what I'd like you to do is if you are in the classroom, you can pause the video now and really discuss this. Um, what is a fairy tale and what is not a fairy tale? Do you, can you think of any fairy tales that you know? Okay, I've already mentioned in my previous videos about um, some features that are common in fairy tales. Um, see if you can have a think about what features there might be in a fairy tale um, and then think about actually what, what things are definitely not going to be in there, all right? Um, pause it now if you need to do that in class. If you're not in class and you're at home, you can also have a go at this, okay? Have a guess first and then we're going to discuss this afterwards so you can draw this table again into your books using a ruler. Okay, so what is the difference between features of a fairy tale and features of a regular story? Let's just have a look at some of these. So uh, let's start with this one. All right, so um, in a story, in pretty much every story, there's going to be characters, all right? Now, the difference being um, in a fairy tale, the characters have got sort of special qualities, all right? They can do certain things that perhaps um, a normal character can't. A lot of the characters can talk, um, such as animals, all right? So if we take the example of, um, I don't know, uh, well, take three pigs. Um, the pigs can talk, all right? Um, and there's lots of others as well. The gingerbread man, okay? He's not a, re he's a, he's a made up character. Okay. He has got um, special qualities. Okay. He's incredibly fit and he can run. All right. So um, think about these characters that have got these, um, these special qualities. Okay. Next one, fairy tale language. So um, let's think about how um, a fairy tale might start and how a fairy tale might end. Have, um, pause the video if you want to have a quick chat about that. Um, there's some common, uh, ways in which fairy tales start and fairy tales end. Uh, like Babe's Three Little Pigs, Once Upon a Time is a classic way to start a fairy tale. How about how to end it then? Um, you'd be quite right if you said something along the lines of they looked 
um, sorry, they lived, they lived happily ever after. All right. Speech. Uh, in most stories, uh, where there's characters, they talk to one another. So if there's um, people talking, then therefore we need to have speech, people talking to each other. That is no different to a fairy tale. A setting. And now most stories, again, have a setting. Our Stone Age stories were based, um, had a setting, and we were going to, well, we did describe them. The difference with a fairy tale, it says sometimes en enchanted. What does that word mean, enchanted? Well, I will help you out with that. Enchanted can mean that it's um, a, also a magical made up place where um, certain things happen. So um, woods where animals can talk and where it's, it's, it's a magical kingdom, if you like. So um, that's mean, that means enchanted. It's, it's, it's almost like it's too good to be true. It's, it's an amazing place, okay? Uh, a magical element. Now, this is an interesting one. If you take Jack and the Beanstalk, for example, um, Jack and the Beanstalk, what did Jack have in his hand? It was magic beans. Can you imagine having magic beans in this day and age? It'd be absolutely amazing. All right, we could plant our magic beans and let, it, let the beanstalk grow. and We could go anywhere we want it. So a magical element. They're, your stories, they can, they can take that on their own um, sort of, they can go anywhere they want, all right? So the magical element, you can have something that's just, just amazing. Lots of you in your cold tasks um, were writing about, um, what can I remember? Chickens being able to talk and chickens laying eggs and, that were magical. Um, and that was absolutely amazing. So lots of you know about that already, this magical element, okay? I'm gonna go to this one next. Ah, good versus evil, okay? In a fairy tale, you have a good guy and a bad guy or um, a team of good people and bad people, and they, they fight against one another, not fight against one another, that's the wrong word. They, uh, they, there's a problem, and what always happens in a fairy tale? The good guys always win, all right? So um, good versus evil um, is often in fairy tales, um, and there is, um, the classic example is the three little pigs. Who are the good guys? Who are the bad guys? All right. I'm trying to think of another one. Uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. There's another one. Who's the bad guy in Jack and the Beanstalk? Well, obviously it's the giant. Okay. Um, and there's loads of others um, that we could go through. So um, good versus evil. And finally, um, in most stories, there is a clear plot. There's a, there's a sequence like we know. Uh, we used our story mountain before. Um, in a fairy tale, it's usually really, really obvious. Okay. That there is a clear beginning. There is a middle where there's something that's happening and there's a, always a really happy, clear ending. Okay, So there are some features that we're going to try and find today. So this is where we're going to go. Um, we're going to go in two different ways. Now, if you have got a sheet okay, that has got the key at the bottom all right, um, and you've been able to print it off, great. This is what you're going to do. Okay, If you haven't got that, can you just hold fire at the moment for the moment and all you can skip forwards um i'm just going to explain what their activity is now a key okay is the use of colors oh my light's gone off ah hang on apologies it means i'm talking too long um so a key is um the use of colors to um identify things within the text so for example i've chosen the color red to highlight in the text the characters and perhaps their special qualities. So I use my red pen um, and I've underlined, well, Babe is a character um, and special qualities of Babe. Um, it says it was a magical pig who could speak. Okay, so they've described the character really well. Percy, Pepper, Penny, their characters. Percy was very lazy. Okay, um, Pepper was also lazy too, but Penny worked hard. Okay, that's quite important for this story because. Um, it um, differentiates the, the three pigs, okay? The reason why Penny was successful at the end of the story is because she worked hard, okay? So I've chosen the color red to identify the characters. There's one more character in the story that I'm not going to um, talk about for the time being. Um, I want to see if you can find it um, and any special qualities that perhaps that character had as well. Um, the second one I've done, um, I've, I've picked the easy ones, okay? Um, the fairy tale language, all right? Um, so what fairy tale language has been used? I've done that in blue. 
once upon a time. Okay, that was used. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to choose a different colour. We've done this before. Okay, um, and I want you to see if you can find in the text. Um, you only have to do a couple of examples. You don't have to find absolutely every single one. Just see if you can find in the text the um, features um, that have been highlighted here. Okay, so for example, um, I'm going to do one myself now. Uh, I will go to my colored pen, Ooh, something like that. Uh, oh, it's easier on the board. Let's go for that. Okay, uh, and I'm going to go for, let's find some speech. Now it's coming up in red again, obviously. Um, you wouldn't choose red if you've already chosen it before. But here we go. I'm going to colour in my box in red. Okay, I'm going to find some speech. Now, speech um, is, I think, quite easy to find because there is speech marks that make show who's talking or when somebody's talking even. All right, so I can see that there's some speech marks up here. Um, somebody saying, no, 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 not by the hair on our chinny chin chin. So, the, okay, so actually I'm going to underline now. Mm, I know what I need to be using. What could I use to make my work really, really neat? I don't think I've got the option here. Okay, if you have got a ruler, absolutely you need to be using it. Okay, it will mean that your work stays really neat and not like mine. Uh-oh, see what happens. Okay, so really, really neat using a ruler, okay? So, for example, there is some speech that I found. Okay, the next bit, um, I'm find another example where somebody is talking. Okay, I can see speech marks there. Okay, and they stop talking there. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Okay, I'm going to do my best to underline, <laughs> underline that. Okay, so, um, not very good. Yours will be much, much better. Um, the, um, so your job is to go through each of those. Um, the hard bit here, I think you might find, is the good versus evil. So it's trying to find an example of that. So, for example, um, the good versus evil. So the good, uh, you could say uh, that the good was the, the pigs um, and find a piece of text um, where that shows that the pigs are good people, um, and actually the um, the the wolf um, being treacherous. It described the wolf being treacherous at some point. That would be um, a good example of where the, the the wolf is evil. Okay, so you can highlight that. Um, now, if you haven't got this at home, that's absolutely fantastic. You're going to do something slightly different. Okay, it's exactly the same task, um, but in a slightly different way. So what you're going to do. In fact, you're going to um, draw a little table in your book, all right? So all you're going to do, you're going to have um, two columns like this, okay? You're going to write the features down the side. Just going to move that out of the way. Okay, you're going to write the features down the side, so you've got exactly the same features. And all you're going to do is you're going to choose one example from the story. So characters with special qualities, um, I'm going to say that while well, Babe um, is one of the characters and the character's special quality is a, take it from exactly from the text, a magical pig who could, I'm looking directly from the text, magical pig who could speak. Magical pig who could speak. Okay. Uh, and if you want to carry on and tell me some more um, about um, Percy Pepper, that's absolutely fine. Um, some speech, let's pick up some speech from this part of the story. Oh, um, I just want to... I just want to pick out some speech. So, um, here we go. Let's have a look. Um, go, my little ones, and explore the world. Okay, that could be a piece of speech that we could choose. Um, what else have we got? We've got... Um, the paragraph down at the bottom there that um, I just showed a couple of seconds ago. So you could choose some speech, any part of that, that's absolutely fine. Um, setting, so where is this set? Let's have a think about that. Hmm. Where is it set? Uh, and where does it tell us 
um, it's set. Well, the setting, where does it start? It says that um, they're on Farmer Hoggett's farm, but there's not enough space for them. All right, so where do they go? Off into the world. Now, that's not really much of a setting. So um, it does say that um, the, um, the wolf walked past a lane. Um, so perhaps that you could say um, the setting could be um, a, a street where the pigs live um, and they've got three, um, three houses down the lane. Okay, um, is it enchanted? Mm, well, I suppose you wouldn't really see houses made of straw, uh, houses made of sticks and houses made of stone next to each other. So um, it's certainly very, very different to what you'd imagine. Okay, um, and what I want you to do is have a go at filling out each of these, um, these parts. The magical element, um, I would suggest the magical element of this is that the, the, pigs, can, the pigs can talk. Um, the other magical element um, or, or special features that the, the characters might have, the wolf has got an incredibly um, strong um, blow, okay? He can, he can really blow the houses down, okay? I don't know of any wolves that have got that special quality. All right, so we're really trying to unpick all of these little little things that these characters have got. Um, and yeah, see how you get on. Okay, so uh, that's the, the, two, the two jobs you've got to do. You've got um, a sheet if you are using a sheet and you can highlight and color. If not, I'd like you to draw me a table in your book and have a go at um, filling that in. Okay, um, at the end, so when you, had, when you have finished this, so um, I'd like you to have a look through your checklist. Are there any features that we haven't been able to find? Now, it might be that you, you weren't able to find some of these, okay? Have a think, um, do all stories have exactly the same features? Um, and I don't suggest they do, okay? Um, I think there will be um, an example for each of these though. Okay, um, going through the story, uh, I think there will be an example for each of these. So see if you can find it, please. Okay, if you have any questions, please shout um, and I'll be here to um, answer your questions on the messages. Okay, good luck today. Hope it all goes well. Uh, and I will check in with you or check out with you later. Um, and we'll have a bit of a quiz later. All right, see you.